should an alcoholic be allowed an early transplant versus a lot of times there's that mandatory six months abstinence mm -hmm. period. You have to be able to prove that you can give up alcohol before you're allowed yeah. a transplant. I mean, suppose I have a loved one that needed a liver transplant, maybe for a reason that wasn't alcoholism, maybe it was some sort of infection or some genetic problem, something that wasn't their fault, and they're get, waiting for a liver, and maybe a liver comes up, but somebody else gets it, an alcoholic who basically made the decision years right. ago it's to their, fry their, their own, own liver. It's discretions that have, that have led I'd to that problem. Yeah, but these doctors, we're not there to judge. This we're not there to judge right. people, though. The, and we the, can't the, do this that. French study condoning it, I mean, we know they like their wine and... <laughs> but Lisa, <laughs> but I, think that's, I, I, I think that's wrong. I think we're not there to judge. And I, I, I truly believe that unless there's another equivalent way to establish who should get the, you know, the organ donor first mm -hmm. and not based on whether or not you did something quote unquote bad because that's when we start to play God as doctors and I don't think that's right at all. I actually do. Yeah, I mean but, if someone can't prove they're going to stop drinking, you're going to give them a transplanted liver and that's going to eventually fail and, as well. Yeah, like, you know, can't, they're just asking them to stop drinking, drinking for six months. Addiction. Wait, to drinking prove. is an addiction, mm -hmm. but also if you're saying that because the, the transplant isn't going to work as well in them, then are you going to screen out everybody who is high risk afterwards? Are you going to say because firefighters um, may die sooner or policemen Lisa, may die sooner, are you not going to transplant Lisa, them? Lisa, if you drink alcohol and you develop alcoholic liver disease because of it, mm -hmm. Whose fault and, is that? But the study, it's not about the study whose is actually is. showing that it's if not... they actually develop the disease from it and they get the donation, they are actually going to stay alcohol free. Right, afterwards. so let's talk so about that. But, but the change. reason, the reason, get a second chance? but let me yeah. say this. I actually agree with your concept 100%. But you, and I don't care what caused it. I think that's the language that yes. you're having mm -hmm. a problem with. I don't okay. care what caused it. All I care about is what's the success going to be of that transplant. Mm -hmm. And so if you're not going to quit drinking, the success is going to drop exponentially. Right. And, and, yeah. It doesn't matter. You're right. We should not judge how did you get here, but we do right. need to look at it. Sure. If 2,000 people a year mm -hmm. die waiting for a liver transplant. Yeah. So if you're going to transplant a liver into someone, God forbid, I'll tell you right now, if my family member were waiting for liver and they weren't a drinker and someone got a liver that and was, kept was drinking, yeah. it would be really yeah, hard to see my mom. Showing or my, that they're not just, drinking afterwards. So that's a big boom. That's saying these people get a second chance. They can change. And I'm true, saying again, if, if you're talking about success rate, one of my loved ones, then I'd are you going to say a first chance. that if somebody's going to die I'd rather or give somebody a, a first chance than some, give somebody a second chance. That, that we have the technology, but we don't have enough li livers. The, the waiting list for liver transplants is much longer than than the number of livers. And what they're going to do by adding this So you're saying to this list. So Drew, you're saying that there should be a six month abstinence waiting period. But yeah. some, the of those, only, the some only of those problem, people die in yeah. that six months. And, here's the problem. and you're saying that and there should study, be a waiting period. Right. And this study showed that, you know, instead of waiting the six months, if you do it right away, it's, they live you get a much higher yeah. success rate. And what, what, so, what they were looking at was this quote, alcoholic hepatitis mm -hmm. that has a very high incidence of progressing to cirrhosis the scarring of the liver oh yeah ultimate end stage liver disease which you will die from if you don't get a new liver mm -hmm. and i do want to remind everyone because again the key here is dr lisa i think hit the nail on the head we really don't want to ever judge someone but we do want transplants to be successful this is what drinking does to your liver so this is a healthy liver that you see on the left what happens over time is you develop alcoholic hepatitis that's inflammation of the liver from drinking too much the liver has so many complex functions one of it is breaking down toxic substances, which in excess, alcohol is. Over time, that alcoholic hepatitis can lead to cirrhosis. That's where your entire liver starts to scar down. So if anyone could feel this in the audience, they would feel really hard, nodular, fibrous liver. It can no longer filter your blood. And that's what your liver does. It filters your blood from so many things. So when it becomes fibrous like that, blood won't go through it. And when that happens, blood backs up in your entire body. You'll see massive swelling of the abdomen. We've talked about this before. People get esophageal varices where the blood mm -hmm. vessels in their, in their esophagus become dilated, can rupture. It's a really sad thing. The only hope then is transplantation. Mm -hmm. And if nothing else, this is a plea for everyone out there. If you, if you haven't talked to your family about becoming an organ donor, check the box because for I do sure. I do have to say this I think I think doctors do do a good job of, of screening candidates for they transplantation yeah. and mm -hmm. no matter what your personal beliefs may be mm -hmm. on whether or not a an, an former alcoholic should get a liver I can promise you if you donate your organs they will go to good use mm -hmm. yes.